G'day, good things. Chris O here. This is a Road to Japan update. Okay, this is update number two. So, last video, last challenge video on DoorDash I did where I'm, I'm earning enough money driving on DoorDash, doing food deliveries to get across to Japan, and I'm going to take you all across with me on a holiday to Japan, which is going to be super cool. The last video I did, it was working every single weeknight across the week. And uh, I'll just update here how much we made for it, which is super cool. So uh, while the numbers aren't blow away numbers or anything like that, it's not anything massive, not anything huge, it's showing the consistency of going out there night after night after night and how it adds up over time. So being consistent can pay off. But what this gets me over in Japan, guys, is it gets me, um, I had to write this one down, five nights in a city called Osaka and two nights in a city called Nagoya. So Osaka, it, it seems to be one of the biggest cities in Japan. Reason why I want to go to Osaka, it's got Universal Studios over there. It's got like a Harry Potter thing and like a, a, a Nintendo Land. Um, and yeah, I just want to kind of explore that. I think there's a Jurassic Park ride, which would be sick, bro. Um, but over in Osaka, once again, um, like Kyoto, look for more like an apartment style hotel. So I'm not looking for like, you know, glitz and glamour and stuff like that everywhere I stay. Just an apartment style, because most, most of the time I'm going to be out and about exploring. But one of them days in Osaka will be over at Universal Studios. But this is what the Osaka apartment looks like. Just want to give you a quick look. Not glitz and glamour or anything, guys. Um, but it will be comfortable to stay in for five nights in Osaka. Now, the other place I'm staying, um, Nagoya. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Nagoya. Nagoya. Uh, Big city as well, I think, in the grand scheme of things, but not, not as big as Osaka, not as big as Kyoto. But I want to stop in Nagoya. Uh, one reason is it's got something called... Uh, it's got the Studio Ghibli Park. It's not the museum, not the big event museum of all the history, but it's got a, a large parkland filled with Studio Ghibli stuff. Uh, those into kind of anime and stuff like that, you might be like, oh, Studio Ghibli, that's sick, man. Uh, so I want to go check that out. Um, I know it's not going to be exciting because it'll be like rides and all that kind of stuff like Universal Studios in Osaka, but half day trip out there. Uh, it'd be cool just to wander around some, some Japan, Japanese, J Japan parks, Japanese parks, uh, see some Studio Ghibli stuff. But yeah, so from driving five nights, five nights on DoorDash, that's done five nights in Osaka and two nights in Nagoya covered on my accommodation for it. Uh, once again, guys, everyone that's contributing through in the donations, that little thanks button um, to send a super across on YouTube or who's uh, also signed up as a member on my YouTube or Patreon. Um, thank you so much for supporting this journey across to Japan. Uh, the DoorDash stuff's going to, of course, fund it all. Uh, anything that you guys chip in, that's for the sushi fund. But the top three unique contributors, of course, guys, um, they will get a gift. I'll buy a gift in Japan for the top three unique contributors, and then I will send it out to you back when I get to Australia, all right? We'll, we'll deal with that when the time comes. But yeah, top three, if you want to be in the running for that, awesome. If you just want to chip in, help out the sushi fund while I'm over there, awesome. Thank you so much as well. But guys, that is, that's what we've done. That's what we covered with the five nights. Now, next video coming out, next challenge video coming out on Monday, six o'clock, Brisbane time. If you're overseas, I don't know how to convert that for you. Just Brisbane time, okay? Whatever Brisbane, Australia time is, six o'clock Monday night. Uh, the next video is coming out, and this is a challenge to try, see how much I can earn across Saturday and Sunday. But unfortunately, things didn't go quite right. So tune in on Monday at 6 o'clock Brisbane time to see what went wrong. All right, guys, see you in the next video. Thank you so much to everyone for supporting my Road to Japan series. Every dollar contributed goes into the Sushi Fund. And if you want to see your name up here at the end of each video through the series, press the thanks button and donate, which really helps me out. Alternatively, become a YouTube or Patreon member and your membership will add up over the series. For the top three unique donators, I will buy you a gift while I'm in Japan and send it out to you. So hit the thanks button now and I'll see you in the next episode.